Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of S Tuner. Um, now, before I start out doing everything, um, I just wanted to say sorry for no videos in the past like three days or something. I was busy out at my cottage for Mother's Day and my birthday, which was yesterday. Um, and yeah, I just didn't have time to get uh, to get some videos ready before I went up for that, and I had no internet really when I was up there, um, as the internet was was pretty bad. But uh, yeah, we're back to our, our regular upload schedule. And today, what we're going to be building is, I was asked to build a car that is just completely crazy uh, with camber, if that makes sense. Basically, a ton of camber, and you're not really holding back, which is sort of not my style, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and see what happens. I'm basically going to be rebuilding. I had this one uh, S13 I was doing in class one time, and the computer crashed. I posted a picture of it in S Tuner Works. Um, so basically I'm going to be building that again, except with more camber, if, if that makes sense. This is probably my favorite build that I was doing, so it should be good. It should be good is, is what the outcome of it will, will be. Not stock, I want to do bricks. Bricks make S13s look great. All right, there we go. Um, our taillights, we'll do these. It's basically going to be the same thing, so if you guys saw that, you'll know uh, what I was talking about. As for the rear bar, got to do this and then remove the lower part. Oh, yeah. That's how you do things right there. And then I got to quickly ignore the parts filter. Scroll down and find the S14 no rear bumper whenever this loads. There we go. Um, another thing, I'm also like allergies are killing me right now, if you couldn't already tell. So, I just want to apologize. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're gonna copy this. I forgot that it does that. Um, but yeah, my my allergies right now are are killing me. So I just want to apologize for if my voice sounds weird or annoying or whatever. Uh, it shouldn't really be like that. There we go. And now, yeah, it, it should be gone, hopefully, within the next, like, week or so. But allergies, I can never really guess how long they're going to stick around. So that's unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, there's only one way to find out. Just got to wait. Wait it out and see what happens. So for our wing, um, I'm going to throw the, I believe it's the GM. Yep, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. We'll go ahead and edit it. Move it all as a group. And we're going to make a hella awesome sick low mount spoiler that you don't normally see unless it's a really cool car. Because that's that's the only... Alright, here we go. I found the right rotation. I always mess up the rotation. Um, we got to scale the width out because I'm going to put some wider fenders on here. But that should be a good rotation there. Just gotta move this back, just like that. Move forward a little, a little bit like that. Awesome. And then uh, we'll move it down until it touches the the trunk like that. And there we go. That is how you make an awesome spoiler. Uh, now we can put the parts filter back, back away because we don't need anything else from that. Uh, other parts, what do we have for options here? Uh, I'm going to actually do the rear diffuser first because then I can line the exhaust up nicely. Use this diffuser because it looks great. Excuse me. Uh, I do need to scale the width out a little bit though. Not that much. That's a little too weird. There we go. That should be good. And now if we move it up. Not that high. S tuner, please work with me for a second. Or that was actually low. That was lower than I expected. So yeah, two about there. Um and then we'll move it back. I may have to scale it down a little bit. Yeah. This might uh scale the height. No, that does not do what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping for uh, it to sort of, you know, extend this part, but uh, 
Oh, I can remove this. Okay. I didn't know I could remove that bit. That just made this whole thing a whole lot better. Okay, awesome. Now I can actually... Uh, if we move... Scale the height up a little bit. It looks a little bit too squished. So if we do it like that... And then scale the width up just a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm just going to drop it. Drop it below the bumper support there like that. And that should be good. There we go. It'd just be better if we had like a little thing back here. But, uh, you know, it's alright. This isn't 100% accurate to how I built my car. That I did uh, a few days ago, but you know, it's close enough. Um, now for our exhaust. I forget which exhaust to use for this. Was it exhaust like... I believe it was this. I know I did have a dual exhaust, and... I had like... It tilted up, and straight out to the side like that. Yes, here we go. This is essentially what I did. I don't know if I used this exact exhaust or not, but this is essentially the same sort of thing that I did uh, on the previous build. So let's go ahead and copy this and move it into position. There we go. And that is how you make an awesome exhaust for a car with a diffuser <laughs> that thing looks it looks so mean this isn't 100 percent accurate like i said but uh it's close i'm sort of inspiring it by what i remember from that build uh we can do intercooler one because that's fine uh half cage oil clear we don't need to do that don't need to do any of this we'll do a train handle on the rear to give it that bozo zoku status um, all right, so let's go ahead and put this back into here and then move it over to the right. I always click the wrong direction. God damn it. All right, here we go. So if that's not scraping, then I'm going to take it off or lower it depending on what. That should be scraping by the time I'm done with it. We'll move it down just in case. Move it down to like there. Yeah, that should be on the ground. Um, I want to paint that white. Nice. There we go. That looks better. Uh, I'll quickly paint the diffuser a black to match the wing. And then our under panel. Or not. What an under panel? What is an under panel? Our uh, bumper support will be black as well. I can already tell that this build's going to be a little bit longer than usual. But uh, it should be fine because this is such a good build. Probably one of my best builds. I'll uh, I'll put it that way. I believe I had the pumped rear on there. Uh, let's see what else. DM3 pumped rear. DM3 pumped rear actually is probably what I had on there. And it looks better too. So I'm going to put that, put that on there like that. And then S13 grill GTR. Make that look mean. Mad as fuck. Um, K power, rear guard, roof spoiler. Here we go. Now, every time I put a roof spoiler onto my cars in S Tuner now, I edit them. And you're going to see why. I make it look a hundred times better than, than it did originally. And all it takes is just scaling this thing out. For whatever reason, I like roof spoilers that are massive. And if they're not big, uh... I feel like the S-Tuner ones are too small in general, so I usually just bump the uh, bump the, the height and width up, or length up, I guess it is, and it usually makes them look a whole lot better whenever I get them all lined up properly, that is. There we go. Now, it's not 100% lined up accurately, but you can't really see it... Uh, See it that well anyway from far away. So yeah, there you go. You got a roof spoiler that looks a lot better than it did originally, which is uh, what I like doing. So do we have any uh, any other options here? We got side diffusers and front diffusers and stuff, but I'm not going to throw any of that on there. 
Uh, just the rear diffuser for this one, which looks absolutely unbelievably mad. Um, now, we can throw our wheels on because we're done everything else. What wheels did I have on here? I don't even remember, but I remember I did do quite a bit of modification to them. And I made them look a lot better. A lot better than they originally did. Wherever they are. Hello, wheels. Please. I completely forget what they look like or what the name was. But once I see them, I'll be like, hey, that was them right there. Okay, here we go. Min Iver Min Minerva? Minerva? I don't know. Probably saying that wrong. Uh, we'll keep 18s on here. Put the tire width up to 11. Uh, tire width up to like... Or 200. Get a nice stretch on there. Put some complex tires on. Um, our tire profile can go down to like 30. And now... We'll slam the car. There we go. Uh, now we just have to camber the absolute living hell out of this thing because that is what was requested but first before I do that I'm just gonna make the wheels how I originally made them when I when I did the the previous build and that was by doing negative dish right out to the tip or right out to the lip I guess it would be to like there and then you just completely you, you, you put the concave in as much as you can so like that and for whatever reason, that looks amazing on these wheels. Um, I might do negative four dish, yeah. Like, that looks really good on these wheels. I don't know why. But these wheels with dish, they look good. But without dish, they look better. Is what I sort of took from this. So let's go ahead and fit our rear wheels. I'm going to start off with negative ten. And work our way up. Uh, we'll move the rear axle forward a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna go until we get a hella flush fitment. That is what my plan for this build is. I don't even know if I can do it. No, I can't. It's so close. That looks so stupid. I'm sorry, negative twenty camper. All right, we'll go to negative ten, and then just have it so that it's in the wheel like that. Negative ten on the rear is a bit extreme. I've never done that before. Maybe I have, but. Not, it's not something I usually do. But then on the front, negative 20 maybe. We can actually get that sitting pretty flush. So, I'm going to not do negative 20. But I'm going to go until it sits flush. So, this will be completely... There we go. That's flush. And this thing looks great. I mean, it would look better probably without as much camber. But, like... I'm in love with it. <laughs> if I had an S13 coupe, this is how I'd want it to look. I don't know about you guys, but this thing is... Hey, it's scraping. I told you. I'm actually going to move it up a little bit because it's actually through the ground. If you have one of these on the car and it's not scraping, you got to take it off. That's that's the rule. Because uh, otherwise, that'd be stupid. It's not really the rule, but like... You know, that's kind of the whole point of it. To show rebellion... And, uh, and to measure how low your car is. Alright, now we can go on to our car colors. The color was like a deep purple, so I'm going to do sort of the same thing. It's more pinkish than purple, actually. So we'll do that, make it darker. Nice, I like it. And then we'll make the hood black. Oh, what did I just do? No! Reset, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, I gotta edit the hood because of what just happened there. Alright, there we go. That's working out pretty well. And then our wheel color will be chrome as usual. Oh, this thing looks so mad. This thing looks so good! Alright, uh, gold lug nuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm in love with this S13. I'm sorry. It's just so... Oh, it's amazing. I'll uh, paint the intercooler as well to get some better uh, better shine on there. Nice. Wow. All right. Well, I'm glad I actually finally completed this. I need to get some, uh, some more 
I guess that didn't really do anything. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, like, I guess I can throw interior in quick. It's been a 15-minute build, so this is one of my longer builds, but, uh, it's definitely worth it to actually be able to finish this thing. Um, after the computer crashing. It's definitely made me like it a lot more. I can get some good pictures with this. The only thing that I would do differently is if I changed, um, like, put a livery on it. A livery on this would make it complete, is what I would think anyway. Um, but otherwise, this is like my perfect S13. This thing is, is crazy. Uh, I don't really know what else I would do to it other than that livery, like I said. Just unbelievably awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back to our colors because I just noticed. There we go. That makes it look better. Um, but yeah, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed building. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below for what car you want to see me build next. You can like message me to do replicas or just do a request for something like this. And uh, yeah, I'll try to get around to, to doing as many builds as possible. I don't think this series will ever end. So, I don't know why this isn't... Oh, there we go. What the hell? Alright, I'm going to do the caliper color quickly because... There we go. Um, yeah, that makes it. The calipers that were red just sort of stuck out weird. But now that the yellow matches the yellow of the lug nuts, it all looks good. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed building it. As I said, leave a suggestion down below for what car you want to see me build next. And until next time, I'll see you all later. I just noticed this has, like, racing seats in the rear. <laughs> that is something you do not see in an S13, so I'm going to change that up quick. Uh, rear seat, back seat, here we go, none. Nice. All right. I'll see you all later.